Hey guys, this is Shantae with Simply Shantae Renee. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'd like to extend a heartfelt welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for your continued love and support. In today's video, I will be setting up my budget planner for the month of July. If you guys are interested in seeing how I set my budget planner up, please continue to watch. Okay, guys, before we get started, I am going to do today's prayer, which comes from Dro Drobe. <laughs> Job 22 and 21. It says, submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. And I did not pick this one out on purpose, you guys. I might just use this as my scripture in my planner or in my budget planner for the month. So that came right on time for the budget. Okay, so um, I am still kind of working my way through how I want to do my budget planner. Um, I'm a person who's kind of always kept track of expenses and things of that nature. Um, and this year really tried to take the initiative to really hone in on writing things down. I keep things a whole lot electronically, so I'm still kind of feeling my way through um, writing things down. So um, with that being said, I do love the decorative element also, but a lot of times when I'm trying to get this video out, I feel like I'm behind. So I need to start probably filming this video a little bit sooner than like the last week of the month. So if you guys remember from my last budget video, I ended up printing out two printables, one for the month of June and one for July. This is from the Planner Shack. It is a very small printable, but it is still cute. I probably won't print this out again just because I decided that I wanted a little bit more. And even though they are a lot more pricier, I think I'm going to look into actually buying some kits that I can purchase um, that will be sent to me. So here is the July um, kit. So here's the front. It just says July budget. It has some other little things there. And then um, I mainly use the income, total income, and then the expenses, total expenses column. I really don't use these variable, variable expenses. Um, and I haven't really used the estimated like savings. So I kind of do my own thing. Uh, the reason why I kind of said I may not get this particular sticker kit, um, the one that I got, I think I started using this planner in April. The one that I got in April was a really, really, really nice kit. Although I had to do two separate kits, um, they were printable still, but it was really, really nice. And it gave me all of the things that I wanted. And I also want to try to see if there is a way that I can add some additional pages. So I've been doing a little YouTube, TikTok research, so I can start doing some weekly check-ins for um, spending categories. I realize as much as I want to, I may just not be the person that tracks everything that I spent. I don't know. I'm still working it out. It's still one of my goals to write down everything that I spend, but I still feel, feel like I have not attained that goal yet. So it'll still be something that I worked on. And then I thought, well, what if I saw somebody's video where they actually, they didn't write down everything that they spent, but they wrote down categories and what they spent and compared it to what they have for like um, their cash envelopes for that particular week. So I am almost running out of pages in here, which is why sometimes it's difficult for me to plan in a system where I can't freely add pages. But through my YouTube TikTok research, I did find some kind of tweak ways that I could able that I am able to add a few pages. And when I get that done, um, I will show you guys that. So I always struggle with how I need to put down <laughs> these stickers here. I know last month I ended up putting it down and I covered up everything and I just don't know if I want to do that. So what I'm going to try this time is actually starting the sticker up here and leaving my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because it would be okay to cover up everything if I actually had more stickers to lay back down, but I don't. So I think I'm just going to hope that makes sense what I'm saying. So I, uh oh, I forgot about this. This was one of the sticker sheets that kind of tore. Okay, there we go. So what I mean is that I'm just going to kind of start up here and just cover this area up and still keep the Sunday, Monday, because I felt that that was kind of, actually, I felt that that was kind of hard for me to get everything covered up last time. And then I covered up areas that was like the, the day of the week. And so I was like, I didn't like it after I did it. I probably should have, 
put some white out on this. I feel like I'm struggling putting this down today, you guys. Let me do that so I can just have one page that I am seeing. I probably should have write, uh, write it out the month, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep that like that. And then that way I can still see my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm gonna put this other leopard print on the other side. And there we go. We got that one off pretty easy. And I want to start off from the end so it can look symmetrical. Because I will say the last couple of months I was not happy with how I put those stickers down, but I really didn't want to pull it back up. So I just you know, made it work. Um, as you guys know, I really love the leopard print, so I'm super <laughs> excited about the leopard print itself. Um, hence, the front of my planner is leopard print as well. So here is how this month will be. And another thing about this kit that I didn't get was, or that does not come with the kit, is like date dots. And I do like to cover up my dates. Is it necessary? No. Um, but I do like to cover up my dates. One other thing I want to start doing, I saw my planner bestie doing this, plus I've seen some other people doing this, is kind of highlighting where, what week, what days go into which paycheck. And I didn't bring any of my highlighters, so I will have to do that off camera. But what I mean, so this month I will get paid on the 7th and on the 21st. And so um, I will highlight the days, the 7th through the 20th, the seventh, all of those bills will come out of that paycheck and then so forth and so on. The 21st, I will highlight all of those bills that will come out on that paycheck up until I think like August, so August 3rd, okay? So that's how that base looks. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those letters I have down, I mean, letters, numbers that I have down. Um, as you guys know, I usually only put on these stickers here what my home, what I consider my home bills to be. So things that I cannot live without. So like my mortgage, the gym, somebody may say that's something you can live without, but I'm more and more just wanting to make that a staple in my life. Um, so like electric, home warranty, water, power bill, um, my car, even though I spell care, my phone, insurance, and internet. So those are things that I want to just make sure that I am uh, paying a closer eye to. So my mortgage is due. Oh, these don't seem like they want to come off. There we go. So I'm going to put down my mortgage sticker. I also forgot to pull out stickers to put my, um, to put my, um, paydays down on. So the mortgage is going to go there. I actually think I'm going to improvise and use one of these stickers. And so for my paydays, it will be on the 7th here. I'm just going to kind of circle that and color it in. And then on the 21st here, I guess I could kind of use these as the highlighters. They do kind of smear a little bit though. Okay, so I notated the actual paydays. So mortgage was due on the 1st. The gym is also due on the 1st. And if you're interested in where I got these stickers from, these are printable from Etsy by Thanks Sis. Um, they come bigger, but I did kind of scale down my print. So they came out smaller and I'm grateful that I'm able to use them. <laughs> um, my electric is due on the 3rd. And home warranty is due on the 10th. One thing I'm forgetting is the trash. And I do think that trash is due this month. Um, so I'm going to go back and get a sticker for trash. And that is normally due on the 5th of the month. Um, but every three months. So that's why sometimes... I forget that one. So that's gonna go here on fifth. And then water is due on the 15th. And 
hour is due on the 16th. Disregard that I have care here. It is just for my car. <laughs> that is due on the 19th. That is due on the 19th. My phone, I have my little cheat sheet on the side. It's due on the 28th. Insurance. It's also due on the 28th. And then I have internet that is due on the 30th. So those are all the bills that I consider like my home, like bills that I just want to be able to highlight in a different way. Things that I consider are consumer debt, I do go and write those in off screen. Um, so that is that portion. And then what I also want to do is just kind of jot some notes down for things that I want to remember for this month. I want to write in church on my Sundays because that is a time where I do like to bless my church and give an offering. And so I wanted to make sure that I was including those monies in my budget as well. And... Oop. Falling off the edge of the page here. Okay, so I have church down there. Um, and then for the Chicago Planner Conference, they did give an option to pay half. I think it was that originally in April and then half in July. So my other portion of the Chicago Planner Conference comes out July 1st. So that will be 7 1. Uh, and I think that's like 185. I have to remember to write that exactly down. So I have that down. And then I want to pay on 7-12, um, my portion of our family trip. So let's see. And that will be $160. And then I do have birthdays. Three that I can think of offhand. I hope I'm not missing anybody. So on the sixth is my aunt. The eighth is my friend Nikki. And the 15th is my friend Christina. <laughs> Wrote that in, it's just Christ. This is my problem because naturally I'm a big writer and so sometimes when I have spaces like this, I have to make sure that I am writing small enough that I don't go over the page. Okay, so I have the birthdays there. And then, like I said, I wanted to mark my paydays. Do I want to do, let's go for it. I wish I had my mile liners here with me. I don't know why I didn't bring them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So my first paycheck would be on the 7th, which is going to cover everything that is highlighted. Ooh, maybe I made a mistake, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back over and yeah, this is not so, okay. I'm not gonna do that because this is pretty much dried up. I pulled out these markers because they are erasable friction uh, markers or highlighters and they are dry, but I have had them for a while. So I would do that other portion off camera because I don't want to mess up that, but you guys get what I mean. And then I also wanted to write down that I did go ahead and add Netflix. Um, so I want to add that to my debts as well. Okay. So, and then I also added a ring subscription for the ring doorbell. Okay. 
All right, so I have my extra things that are down. And then what I'm going to do next is, I haven't found out a way to use this page, so please let me know what you guys do. Um, I do use this portion for goals. So one of my monthly goals is always to, um, to pay off a debt. Uh, and then I also want to add something. Uh, to my high yield savings account. Um, I want to start doing a weekly check-in this month. And not all months do I have um, four goals. Um, and I think that might be it for right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and write this scripture down because it just seems to be fitting. So Job 22 and 21 says, submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. And the reason why I think this scripture and prayer fits is because it talks about prosperity. And in my opinion, prosperity is related to um things that you have and not necessarily just that but prosperity does come in a form of monetary things so i thought that scripture was befitting so on the next page you guys what i like to do is go ahead and put um now we'll have to pull out some washi tape as well because i just don't have enough like i said with this kit to uh, do everything I think I'm going to use one of these to put on here just to highlight what my monthly budget is. And guys, I hope you got you something to drink. These budgeting videos can just get really long, but I feel like you learn a lot. Um, so this portion, I just kind of back here still. I used to try to get two separate kits, but I just started kind of using washi um, in the back. So this is going to be my monthly budget and even though i think this kit works pretty well i just wish it came with a few more things so here i'm going to just put down like what my total income is so i'm gonna put down oops. Okay, so I'm gonna put down what my um, income, income is, and then I will put a line down for, let's see, one, two, three, and then total income. Okay, and then after that, I put down Space out on total expenses. All right, and then my expenses uh, total, because I include the home and everything else, usually flows on these two pages. And then on this second page, I will put down um, what the, oh no, my sticker just almost tore in half. Um, Okay, there we go. So then over here, I will put down like the total expenses category. Okay. So what I usually will do, I like to write my bills in, um, again, in separate categories. So I have my home expenses. I have expenses that um, are pay over time. And then I have some like consumer debt expenses that I have 
um, as well. And so it's just a way that I like to categorize things there. And so I have that like that. The next page I usually go into, and I will, since I have two left instead of using washi, which I could have did that with this page, but oh well. And I'm going to put, um, so if I find me some like date dots that I really, really like, I really want a whole book. I don't know, I might consider buying this kit again because I just really like the date covers. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> I will have to see. Okay. And then let's see, let's put this one. Oh, I actually could have started that over here. Okay. So then I will use this for check number one. which is, where's my sheet? So July 7th through the 20th. And then check number two is July 21st through August 3rd. Okay, so that is how it is for checks. So if I will have, in the months that I do have three paychecks, then I just use an additional sheet. Um, and then what I end up doing is writing down all the bills that are due within that paycheck. Maybe self-explanatory to somebody, but I just want to make sure I am being thorough. And then next, I usually do sinking funds over two pages. So I'm just going to grab this washi tape here, just a little bit left just to kind of like highlight the areas. And then I go back with a different highlighter and highlight each sinking fund like category. And now let's get this here. All right, and then I'll do another sheet on this side. Another strip. Ooh. That piece didn't seem like it wanted to stick. There we go. Washi tape is so good because you can make it work for anything. Um, Cause like I said, I didn't, I realized that this kit didn't have as much. So I had to make it improvise. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down my last strip cause it is for my debt tracking. as well so i am so grateful for um, budgeting videos they really do help a lot i knew i was going to be running out of that soon that's why i used it and so i hope that this video is helpful to someone as well um, as always if you guys have any questions you can always feel free to reach out to me put, put a question in the comments below um, or reach out to me on social media as well okay so this will just be labeling sink labeled sinking funds And then I know that this is the same for these two pages. And then my last page is Debt Tracker. Okay. So one more thing back to the sinking fund. So what I do is I have like five like cash envelope um, categories. And so I just may say one of them is long term, one of them is short term, and then I write down the categories of what I want to put into each. Um, and then that's how I total up all of my sinking funds. And then the next one is the debt tracker. And what I do is write down the debts on this page um, from the highest to the lowest. And then that way, as I'm paying them off, I scratch that out and then I add whatever minimum payment I was paying to a debt to the next debt. So kind of like the snowball, um, I was gonna say Jet Ramsey, Dave Ramsey snowball method, okay? So that usually leaves me with these two pages, which 
is cool. So if I do have a pay a third paycheck in a pay period, then I'm able to use one of these pages. But it doesn't really leave me much room if I want to do the weekly check-ins. And I do enjoy seeing those weekly check-ins on um, budgeting videos. So I just wanted a way to incorporate some more pages. Like I said, I will try to let you guys know what I do to incorporate those pages. Uh, really simple, super hack. Some people may not like it, but I thought it was genius. Um, so I definitely look forward to adding that to my planner. So that is basically it. Let me just do a flip through. Um, here we go. So here is the July budget. Like I said, I do put in my, um, household bills. I do try to write down any extra things that I want to think about that will be coming out, um, budget wise. This page, I haven't figured out what to do with it. Um, in these sections, I usually don't do anything with. I usually do try to have at least one goal for the month. Um, and then I have been trying to write a scripture that relates to like um, financial things. So here is the monthly budget section. I write my income sources um, and then go into the expenses, which go over two pages and then total expenses. Here is where I write down what is due per check. And then I try to go back and check off that things are made or paid. Sinking funds over two pages. And then debt tracker on the last page, which leaves me with a page or two left. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. If you do have any questions, please feel free to list them down in the comment section. Or like I said, my name is simply Shantae Renee on um instagram so you can feel free to private message me there as well if you want to keep your question private um i hope you guys are having a great and amazing day as i always like to end my videos be fearless be intentional and always strive to walk in excellence